A report by Greenpeace India shows the city's pollution level fell from 40 microgram per cubic meter in 2019 to 30 microgram per cubic meter in November 2021. This, however, is seven times more than WHO standards and despite pandemic-induced lockdowns. The report cites construction activity as the primary reason for the same. It is very difficult to travel with increasing air pollution. The more that I go out, I expose myself to the polluted air and it increases my chances of getting an asthma attack. Bangalore ranks 4th out of 10 southern cities whose air pollution levels are more than WHO standards. The top cities in these rankings include Vizag and Hyderabad. In Bangalore, meanwhile, Bapuji Nagar, a commercial area, is the highest contributor at 40 microgram per cubic meter in the particulate matter 2.5 limit, which is followed by Pinya, an industrial area which is at 35 microgram per cubic meter. Media reports show the city saw 12,000 deaths due to air pollution in 2020 itself. Environmentalists say there is a need to make urban transport more accessible to tackle air pollution. Unfortunately, if you see the city and how we are developing the city and the infrastructure is totally uh, like supporting the private vehicles. We have to build the transport system which, which can uh, give more attention to the people and not the, the car. Industries, which is a major source of pollution, say they have measures in place to keep the pollution levels intact. There are uh, air filters which are maintaining their own respective factories. Pollution Control Board also is taking uh, preventive measures. Air pollution is under control. The report also emphasizes on the need to have green spaces in the city and also engage with citizens to tackle high levels of air pollution. This is Shubham Chauhan reporting for CityCast.